The Fibonacci sequence is one of the most famous formulas in mathematics. Each number in the sequence is the sum of the two numbers that precede it. The sequence goes, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. The Fibonacci sequence is tightly connected to what's now known as the golden ratio. The ratio of the numbers in the sequence, as the sequence goes to infinity, approaches the golden number, which is 1.618033988749894848482. The Fibonacci sequence, and the golden ratio, are eloquent equations, but aren't as magical as they may seem. The golden ratio does seem to capture some types of plant growth. For instance, the spiral arrangement of leaves or petals on some plants follows the golden ratio. Pinecones exhibit a golden spiral, as do the seeds in a sunflower. But there are a plethora of plants that do not follow this rule, therefore, it should not be said that the Fibonacci sequence is God's rule for growing things. The sequence does, however, appear in branches of advanced mathematics, applications in computer science, statistics, and nature, giving it quite a mystique. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode of Wow! How'd you code that? We're solving the hacker rank challenge, Fibonacci modified. The problem statement describes a modification to the Fibonacci method where one of the terms is squared. This may result in integers that far exceed the range of a 64-bit integer. In this modified version of the Fibonacci formula, each number in the sequence is the sum of the square root of the two numbers that precede it. Your method must receive three integers, the first two integers correspond to the first two numbers in the modified Fibonacci sequence, and the last integer is the nth term in the sequence which your algorithm will need to compute. The solution to this problem is simple, it requires the use of the big integer class to account for numbers that exceed the range of a 64-bit integer. First, let's instantiate a big integer, named third, with the value of zero. Next, let's instantiate two more big integers with the values of the incoming parameters representing the first two numbers in our modified Fibonacci sequence. Next, we define a loop that will execute until we reach the nth term of the sequence, starting at the second term. Next, we calculate the square root of the second term, and add the result to our first term. The result is then reassigned to the big integer, third. Next, we reassign the big integer, second, to the big integer, first. Next, we reassign the big integer, third, to the big integer, second. When the loop completes, the value of the big integer, third, is equal to the nth term of the sequence, and gets returned to the calling method. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share with your friends and family. If you have a better solution, or have questions about this solution, feel free to ask it in the comments below. If you want to see more coding challenges like this, please subscribe to this channel. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. And we'll see you in the next episode. Wow! How'd you code that?